doing a little, I guess you could say, Dreamcast series in a way. Um, so my Dreamcast, I'm going to do a couple mods on it. I think you guys may have seen my really crappy uh, battery mod, but it's still holding up. Uh, I may switch it to the correct size in a maybe a week or something. But uh, So f let me go turn off my fan over here. All right, so this is my Dreamcast. So if I turn it on. Not sure if you hear that, but I can hear the super loud fan. And yes, of course, the disk drive. But I can hear the fan. That's not the disk drive. So, bought the fan to do the fan mod. Um, I also got... Um, a kit. I uh, bought it on eBay for about $20. Uh, it's a wire kit with 3D printed plastic pieces uh, so this fan can fit inside. So I'll even show you. Oh, I didn't even... oh wow, that's nice. Uh, I'll post the seller in the comments. Uh, that's really nice. I got a candy. Right, so Address uh, Laser Bear Industries. That's who sold this awesome stuff to me. Oh, a little sticker. Oh, cool. So, uh, that's what we're going to work with. So we're ready. So, Pretty simple. So remember, the Dreamcast is uh, four screws. Uh, the modem covers one of the screws. Probably should have used a bigger bit. Yeah, should. Yeah, significantly skinny over one. I think. Just a moment. Not my screwdriver. I don't want to tear it the hell out. My son's going crazy. Uh, what? Alright, so plopping my lid. So this fan kit. Our target area. right here this, this fan right this is what we want to take out oh, I need that little one I threw off to the side see that's the battery mod I did in a other video Kind of made that a little squirrely if you see it. Right. Just gotta disconnect this. Let me get my kind of slightly well actually ruined tweezers. I think it's on the sides.
All right, so this is the stock fan. Kind of tiny, kind of poopy, right? So this has to be this precise size, yeah. 40 by 10 millimeters, three pin. So see, this is a three wire, three pin. It's three no, pins. The board's three pins down it. here. Has to be three pins. I think it has to be a, either three or five volts. And so it gives you all these wire options right here. Uh, we're not using any of them. Uh, I don't think. Is this the wire it comes with? And the kit that I bought. No. Okay, get out and film the video. Unless you can shut up. Sorry, I was opening packaging. My son ran in. Uh, so this is part of discuss this later. This was 3D printed, uh, but as I said, I will discuss this later. This is what you need. Uh, there was a resistor put in here, and does this look familiar? That's what goes right there. So, this should be plug and play. So... Figure out the right way to do this shit. I guess it's we're just round peg round hole you can't really fuck it up because you got these lined grooves here and then it would go bam so first thing I want to do this is the 3d printed frame for the fan so if you look at it I'm not sure how this should fit Is this it? Mm -hmm. Actually, this looks like this is supposed to be the right way. Looks like this would be the right way. I don't want to break this 3D printed plastic, but there's gotta be a it's gotta be like a round peg round hole solution here. Mm. So that looks right. It's going to be sideways like this. And there should be a screw that goes here. So it's going to be those two. Right, we're going to try it this way. Wait, right now that's part of the hard case. Oh wow, this looks way better. Yeah, this is probably it. So, sorry if you're watching this, you're probably like, what are you doing? You did it wrong. You're probably laughing, uh, which is okay. We can make mistakes sometimes. Looks like this is 100% how it's supposed to fit now. Right, so we got 
this. It's not moving. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't really move where it is. Mm. Now, just to point out, this is sticking so high up. This fan is sticking so freaking high up that uh, our issue at hand is that when I close this lid, this is going. Yeah, so the on the open tray, this is going to reset, which is what this adjusts. Uh, I'll pull up in a moment. I'll pull up shortly. Oh boy. So. Now what this is for? Pull this through because this came with the fan package. So I guess it goes through here. And it gets just permanently set in, but this is all tightened. I think I need to go look at a picture for reference. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm not bolting these hardcore down, but I'm bolting it down. Uh, for wire management, I chose to put the wire facing downward. So to address this issue, the fan came with four of these. And I'm going to drag it through here. Just going through this through the fan. Everyone see this? This is on there pretty good. Um, the rest of this, uh, just gotta cut this with scissors or obviously the case isn't gonna shut. Uh, I like this idea personally of uh, this being here because this, this is 150% not moving. Um, next thing I got to do, I got to find my scissors. And of course my scissors aren't floating around. Uh, just a moment. My uh, wire pliers that I use. Screw it. Okay, it comes clean right off. So that's fine. I, I I can live with this. Um. So just that this didn't come in the kit. Well, this came in the wire kit. So when you order this fan, like I said, I got four of these, and I think the intent's to use them on all four corners. Um, I'm not gonna have the opportunity to use them on four corners. I I, I just used it on this. And like I said, this is really fucking stabilized. And I like that it's rubber and it's not a screw. This did come with screws. Um, I kind of just noticed that. I won't lie to you. Uh, but I, 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 I do trust this, in all honesty. Like, it's fine. It's, it's not like you're going to literally throw your damn Dreamcast. So, as far as wire management goes, I would fold this accordingly. Well, first I'd plug it in. Round peg, round hole. See this bezel right here? There's a slit right in the middle. We're back on to uh, wire management. So, I think the first thing I need to do is plug this in. Just using this to nudge it in. Mm. 
And really, I mean, what else is there to two? You know what I mean? Because uh, that has a shroud, so that wire's not going to melt or anything like that. Um, you know what? Let's turn it off. Because uh, as you know, all I really need to test is, well, not test, but here if the fan is uh, good or bad. I literally do not hear the fan. See it spinning, by the way. Uh, yeah, this mod's like a 1010, man. This is awesome. Um, so if you haven't guessed, the reason I got this fan is because I'm eventually, well, I'd like to throw an authentic GDMU uh, inside of this bad boy. Not a cloner or any of that squirrely stuff. An authentic GDMU, you know, pending I can get it from uh, the guy's freaking website when he's selling them. Uh, but a uh, power supply card will be next. I'll make a video on that soon. Uh, so they tried to deliver to my house, but they uh, told me, oh, you weren't there and you have to go pick it up. So yeah, that's why I didn't do it now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, uh, I gave you an idea of how to install this. Uh, there isn't really a I mean, I guess there's a tutorial. Well, I didn't even look if there's a tutorial. Hopefully you have a reasonable idea of how to throw this in uh, if you're going to buy it. And shout out to Laser Bear Industries. Thanks, guys. Done. Um, this is the last thing I forgot to do, guys. So take these two screws out. Where's the smaller one? So two screws here. The reason we got to take this out is because that fan is significantly higher than the stock fan. It pokes really high up out of the case. And to mitigate that, as part of this fan kit, there's two pieces of plastic, that printed pieces of plastic that come with it. Uh, when you do this, pull this back, the spring, the drive spring, and it should unhinge, right? That other screw. This is our drop piece of plastic. This is uh, the 3D printed version. Uh, you see, this is reinforced slightly more because it's cut. So, all right. So this has a lot of wiggle room. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to tighten it all the way back. Still loose. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Alright, so... Is it this way? I think it was this way. No, this doesn't seem right. Fuck that, it's not right. Alright. Very final thing to do. And of fucking course it won't fit. It's this, right? This piece.
Uh, I'll hold the button down because I just noticed it's slightly. Uh, it's a little better when the power when this button's down. This physically moves the position. It just needs to be tightened. No big deal. Actually, it's just kind of a problem. Just a little minor tweaks and adjustments. Anyway, just a little minor adjustment. No big deal. Uh, anyway, uh, just. Ultra sensitive, I guess. I mean, thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm. It's not bolted down, but I've got a fix for that, so it's not ultra sensitive anymore. So, what I ended up doing is I took the rubber thing out, I unscrewed this on the sides, and used the screw that it came with, just like in the damn picture on the internet. So as you see, it's a little sideways, so when you slap this over, you have to kind of do it from the side. If not, you'll, uh... Oh, fuck, I don't have a stand. Sorry, it does work.